Now that's a six game homestand worth bragging about. The Trailblazers won the last five, capping it off by setting down the Phoenix Suns. And real good to see LaMarcus Aldridge back after sitting out the last game with a bum ankle. LA had 17. JJ Hickson showed up to work. Get out of the man's way. I mean it. He scored 13 of Portland's first 21 points. Suns hang right with him, though. 34 year old Jermaine O'Neal, twice the age that he was when he broke in with Portland back in 96, had 13 off the Sun bench. Looked like major trouble when Shannon Brown and the Suns raced out to a 12 point third quarter lead, but Hickson was not having it. I told him to stay out of his way. He had 19 points, 15 rebounds, capping a 15 2 run to go ahead. And Damian Lillard will take it from there. You gotta love a rookie who loves to hit the big shot when it matters. Big three, followed by the step back two with 41 to play, and the Suns never got over that. They did have a shot to tie at the end, but they could not get it to go down, and they go down 96 to 93. And uh, Hickson is the first Blazer since Arvita Sabonis back in 97 to put up seven straight double doubles. And how about the five game winning streak running their record in the black at 13 and 12? Bust to come four games below 500 and, you know, be able to get on the win streak and get it done. I think it says a lot about, you know, where we're headed. And that would be Sacramento for a game tomorrow night against the last team to beat the Blazers two weeks ago. Lillard's old school Weber State was in town, and while he was kind of tied up and couldn't catch the game, he will be happy to see this. The Wildcats beating Portland State in overtime, 73-69, tough loss for the Vikings. Pilots fared no better in Las Vegas. They lose to Colorado State. And we stay in Vegas to show you what happened in Vegas. Near empty MGM Grand Arena, Oregon State hit a nice little jackpot. 20 for Roberto Nelson, and San Diego just could not hang with the likes of Jar Mall Reed. Throwdown in Sin City. Beavers gave back most of their winnings on the night, but Eric Moreland pulls out a career high 20, and the Beavers win 86 to 79. Well, his biceps bursting from all those touchdown push ups in football. The Duck can drum all night long, and so can his basketball team. All five Ducks collaborate on the fast break. Carlos Emery got the glory, and Oregon pounds Houston Baptist 91 to 50. They are 10 and 2 as they head off for a nine day holiday break. When OSU football boards a morning flight tomorrow for San Antonio, Cody Vaz will be marked handle with care because he is the Beavers' new starting quarterback for a Saturday's Alamo Bowl. Beavers' coaching staff told Vaz that he won the right to start against Texas in a week, beat out Sean Mannion in December workouts. Mannion ran kind of hot and cold coming back from his knee injury, so they're going with Vaz. And call this the Boise State Las Vegas Bowl trophy because the Broncos own it. Washington's Huskies rallied today from 18-3 down behind quarterback Keith Price finding his way into the end zone. Dogs led at 26-25 late in the game, but Boise State boots the game-winning field goal to win their third straight Vegas Bowl, 28-26. And how about the Smurf Blue Gatorade? Very fitting. And getting the jump on the NFL weekend, the Atlanta Falcons wrap up the NFC's top playoff seed. Roddy White with two scores, and they beat the Lions 31-18. But Detroit's Calvin Johnson delivered on a new NFL record, 225 yards receiving tonight, and he broke Jerry Rice's all-time mark for receiving yards in a single season. He is up to 1,892 yards and counting. Still has one game to go. Very right. exciting. So he could get 2,000 yards. That's what he wants, the big 2,000. <laughs> All right. So